Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here welcoming you back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we were told to go see this guy to get a super weapon from him. And he says, whoa human, what business does a human have coming here? None, this is a forbidden place. Uh, what? What? Holy crap, holy crap! Oh, I'm scared of lava! I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared! No, 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 don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Anyway, so we're gonna put on our iron boots, and we're gonna be scared. Anyway, he's gonna come over here, and he's gonna try to taunt us, but uh, what we're gonna do is actually lock onto him and wait for him to attack, and then just, whoops, yeah, and then get the stab motion going here. Oh, but I didn't do it fast enough. Not close enough to the edge, anyway. Not close enough to him. There we go. Then grab, and turn and toss. Yeah, there we go. Now it's your turn to be afraid, dude. But the thing is, you're gonna wanna stay, like, in between him and the side. Because if you don't... Crap. Yeah, see, if you're too slow. Fortunately, your previous hits... Oh! Crap, crap, crap. Oh! Oh, no! Uh, that wasn't good. Shit, that's not gonna work. Oh, maybe it will. Okay. <laughs> this is going a little sloppy so far. Alright, so get over here. Once he looks like he's about ready to attack, just let him have it. And grab. Toss. There you go. Oh! Well, that could have been a lot worse. I was a little anxious about that. Whoa, what just popped off of you there, dude? Holy crap, your armor's falling apart. Oh, that hurt a lot. Who knew that he was capable of such strength? Well, maybe you are going to see the Patriarch of our tribe? Mm. Oh, so that is why you're here. In that case, take the weapon of the hero. In exchange, you must save the Patriarch. Oh, did I make you cry? I'm sorry. I sorry. Okay, so whatever. <laughs> so, the platform magically comes up, even though the chains are broken now. Kinda sucks. Now on my practice run, for some reason, I kept going the wrong way out of this room, I'm telling you. I didn't realize I was going down. But you're supposed to go down on the map to get to the next room. I mean, it's kind of obvious now, because the black rooms are the ones you haven't been to yet. So, yep. It's just usually you don't go down, you're always going up in these boss rooms. But yeah. And this would be the treasure you speak of? Let's have a look. What do we got? I can't wait to see, man, I'm so excited! Oh my god, you got the Hero's Bow, the best freaking weapon in the game, if you ask me. I'm telling you, you're looking at it right here, right now. Best weapon in the game. This thing rocks. It is so much fun to use. I, I cannot tell you how much fun this is to use. It's so deadly accurate, and it's just... BAM! Well, missed the first shot. Missed the second shot. That is kind of a small target area you gotta go for there. Anyways, they come into this room, and this... Oh, man! How dare you? How dare you? How dare you interrupt what wasn't really that perfect to begin with. Hmm. I'm full of statues. That's strange. Now this was about to drive me crazy before. I was like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Well, you have to go in and actually run into this one. And then that activates the other ones and brings them to life. Like Evanescent. So what you gotta do, and this is really kind of a small target area you're going to hit here, but what you're gonna want to do is pretty much stand right here in the entrance and take these guys out one by one. Just one at a time. There's a really tiny eye spot you gotta hit on when it comes around. And it's really tough to actually nail it. But, once again, the, the joystick on the GameCube controller, I really love it. Because it's not too sensitive. So you can actually move it around without having to squabble too much with it or move it too far. Like that stuff I was doing with Banjo-Tooie, oh my god. I don't even want to think about if I had to play this game like that then I probably wouldn't love that bow and arrow so much. And I don't know how it would be with the Wii version, how that would feel. I imagine it couldn't be too bad, I guess, but... I'm not too bad with the Wii mode, if I do say so myself. But then again, I don't have much of a... So I don't really know how much to compare myself to. <laughs> so I don't watch a lot of Wii LPs that require the use of it. Hey, is this the third guy? What's up, dude? What up, Reggie? Ah, oh, you were here at last! I heard you might pay a visit, young human. I'm farsighted. Here you go. Oh, so you have hyperopia? That's cool. If you use that key, you can open the room where Darvis, the tribal patriarch, is being held. 
but he's in a new grotesque form. Not unlike myself. So let's go take your treasure, dude. Let's see. Oh, the purple rupee! I guess being the president of Nintendo really does pay off. Yeah, I just... Okay, I'm out of here. You know what I always thought was cool about these rooms is if you look around, there's like little chairs here, like people gathered to actually watch and tell a story or something. I don't know how, what kind of Goron would fit in those chairs. It would take about four of them, I think. Or what if they wanted to sleep in them, then it would take more like twelve. Of course, if I wanted to sleep in a row of chairs, it would probably take about twelve, too. I'm going the wrong way again! Get some more toilet paper! Let's come over here, grab this, pull it out of the way. And we can now progress in the temple. So we basically have the boss key, we have the temple treasure. Now all we gotta do is fight the boss, so... We are looking pretty good, Ultimecia, let me tell you. You can see a lot of garbage happening in this room. I always wondered if there was a spot, like another spot where you could hit this crystal from. Because it sure looks like it. But, no, I don't think there is. Like where you wouldn't have to go upside down to do it. Get out of here. Oh, we got hearts. That would be nice. Yeah, see, in my practice run, I didn't get the Hylian shield, the Hylian shield here. And uh, I paid the price because I lost it in this room. My old shield burned, and it was in this room that it happened. And I was like, holy crap. That's when I realized what I'd done wrong. So come over here, and we got two, uh, two, not one, but two, uh, things. Yeah, see, this is why I love this weapon. It's just so much fun. And it actually takes fewer hits with the arrows than it does with the sword. Okay, and this is how my shield burned. I made the mistake of running and jumping onto this platform prematurely before I was supposed to. You're not supposed to, because if you do, these guys will come off the stalactite here and just cheerfully drop right on your ass. And that's not good. Oh man, please do not push A whatever you do. I've made that mistake a few times myself. Yeah, it's basically one at a time. Take him out. Take him down with five shots. Let's go ahead and take these two. And here we go. They usually drop arrows, which is good. Because, uh, you're gonna need them. And you always got more pots and stuff. There's plenty of supplies, like restocking, like these pots. So you don't have to worry. But this door seems to be locked here. What are we supposed to do? Well, you come over here, put on your iron bits. Pull yourself upside down and come back this way. The crystal that we were shown earlier in the room. Well, this is where he hit it from. Right here. This is kind of cool, actually. You might have to... Well... Might have to re-establish your, uh... Oh, jeez. Stay away from me. Do like I told you. Stay away from me! Never misunderstand me! Uh, okay, so that's how you do it. Then you just drop off and you can go through the door. Piece of cake. So, can we get back to that boss room already? Well, let us find out. Let's see a treasure over here. Might as well have a look. Have a gander. Alright, another purple rupee. Sweet. So rack up the rupees here. We're gonna need them later in the game, too, so... Don't ever think that they're superfluous in this case. Wait a second. I forgot what I was supposed to do. Oh, wait a second. There's a bridge over here. Yes. There you go. I knew there had to be something. Yeah, okay. Here we go. And this will take us to our final switch. Da-dum. Da-dum. Is this the final one? And this went up. Yeah, sometimes they go, like, up and down like that. No, I think I'm supposed to go... Okay, this just takes... Yeah, alright, alright, gotcha. I was supposed to drop off there. Because we need to get back to the main room, which is over here. If I do believe so. So we're pretty much just going to come back through here, do all this crap again. No real big mess here. Oh, except now we don't have to actually do all that work to get to the crystal. We can just... Okay, this is one example of an enemy where uh, you can use that shield attack to reflect magic back. 
Like, I think this is one of the only times in the game you can do it. There, see? <laughs> kind of messed that up a little bit, but, uh... Dude, hit that thing. Oh, I did hit it. Okay. Huh. And, of course, now that we have the bow and arrow, we can actually do more in this room. Namely, we can take out these Bebo's, for one thing. Be my. Oh, how can I miss that? I thought they just come to a stop there, like, they don't even know what's going on. <laughs> 